Um, what, a, what a great place at Apel Hernandez. Um, not only are the kids back, but there's a sense of community, a sense of family here. Um, the work that they do to uh, promote not only dual language, but dual culture and just embracing uh, themselves um, as bicultural students is amazing. Um, great to be joined by so, so many great leaders, Senator Warren, uh, district leader, the mayor, uh, wonderful school and, and district administration. You know, when we talk about school reopening, it's not just about opening doors. It's about re-engaging families, re-engaging uh, relationships. And I saw uh, a wonderful example of that today. I'm really happy to be here, and uh, thank you for the invitation. Ah, good. Senator. I just want to say welcome to the Secretary. Uh, the Secretary has been doing extraordinary work in Washington, uh, particularly with the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program and other programs to try to make sure that our student loan servicers are not just working to improve their own profits, but are actually working to serve those who have student loans. I am delighted, though, that he is with us here today with what I know is his first love, and yeah. that is the most important work we do in this nation, and that is to take care of our children. This is about the safety and the success of our children. This is an extraordinary program at this uh, school, and I'm delighted to be here with the principal, with the superintendent, with Mayor Wu. Uh, it is an opportunity for all of us to remember what matters most in our country, a reminder for our leaders at the federal level to make sure the resources are available and the programs are in place, and to say thank you to those who right here make it happen every day, like Mayor Wood. <laughs> Madam Mayor. Good morning. We're so honored to host Mr. Secretary and the Senator, and of course to get the chance to elevate and highlight the amazing work here. Uh, our, our school leader, Carolina, and the superintendent know that this has been one of the best examples of resilience and community, not only during these very, very important times during the pandemic, but as I was, I was saying inside, long before the pandemic, oh, yes. because we heard directly from students how seeing themselves fully reflected in every part of their school day is life-changing. And so it's not only language, it's culture, it's support, it's truly meeting every student and every family where they are. Thank you. We're really blessed to have you here, Mr. Thank Secretary. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to highlight the great work of our principal and her incredible staff here. Um, they have been absolutely amazing during what has been the really uh, most difficult two years of our careers in education. And for you to come and highlight infrastructure and highlight dual language programs and how important they are, and to hear from our students about the importance of family, from our parents, about our hub school uh, initiative that we worked with in collaboration with our union leaders to put in place social workers and counselors and family liaisons that are so important to a sense of family. And when we asked the children, what is it you love most about this school? They said, it's a, it, we feel like a family and they don't let us down and we feel good and comfortable here and confident in our learning. So thank you for highlighting that, uh, Mr. Thank Secretary. Thank, thank you, you for having Senator me. Senator Warren for coming. Thank you. Thank well. you for having me. Any questions? Uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, from the parents you spoke to, what are some of the challenges and victories? Can you go over the differences that, that you've heard today? You know, they, they spoke about the impact on the mental health of their students and, and, and other parents, too. Not just the students. Let's keep in mind, the pandemic hit all of us. So we have families that were disrupted. We have uh, educators whose families were disrupted. So it's about coming back to a culture of mental health awareness and support. So that was a big one. And um, one of the takeaways that I, I want to bring back to DC and see how we can make this systematize it across the country is just make sure we engage better with families. Mm -hmm. Parents are the best and most influential teachers. We need to do better post-pandemic, engaging our families, listening to them, making sure that they feel they're a part of the fabric of the school, just like the students and the educators are. Secretary has to leave. I'm sorry. Uh, last question. Yeah. Uh, uh, you mentioned the American Rescue Plan. He has to leave. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, I have another. Thank, Thank you very much. Yep. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you for being here. Are we good? Uh, Are we good? Really quick. So the, sure. the American Rescue Plan was mentioned during the round table. Yes. Can you mentioned how that is helping parents here. So the American Rescue Plan bought about $1.8 billion here to Massachusetts for education. Uh, right here in Boston, uh, nearly a quarter of a billion dollars. And that means it was money available to help reopen schools. It's money available to help programs get uh, started, to help hire more people, to help those programs go. It's to just try to sustain. That's our job at the federal level. 
is to make sure that the resources are available and they're going into the programs that will deliver for our children. Senator, thoughts and uh, reactions to what's going on in Hungary? You mean in Ukraine? I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, what's happening in Ukraine is, is horrific. Uh, people are dying. Civilians are being bombed. Vladimir Putin is committing war crimes right out in public for the entire world to see. Uh, it is important that the United States stand with our allies to make Vladimir Putin pay for this, to make it painful for him to do this. We're doing that using our economic, our political, and our diplomatic tools. We stand strong with Ukraine, and we will continue to do so. Thanks, everyone. Anyone else? I want to make sure Go that ahead. our um, principal gets to say a word. Please oh. do. <laughs> Let's get our principal over here. We're all free. Hey, yes. All right, y'all. I want you to know that in the 90s, one of my predecessors stood probably close to here and was fighting for basic legislation for this place to exist. Yeah. We fought a fight for the right to teach the way our people teach it, to have a home our children can actually feel at home in and educate. Today, I am so proud and excited that I've got Senator Warner here. <laughs> yeah, we've well, got a mayor and a superintendent. Yes. And a secretary who just walked out the house who said, this is our house and y'all are welcome in it. Yeah. We get to teach in our language and we get to actually educate our people in the ways of our people so that we actually contribute to America in the ways that we were raised to do. So I actually just want to be super grateful because this is a historic little piece of a moment. Yeah. And Margarita Muñiz in heaven yes. and Ana Tavares who fought the fight before yes. us yeah. are out here to fight it and celebrate it with us. Good. So thank you.